Hey everyone, that's the Dub Nation here and welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here in the channel. I'd like to stop and take the time to kind of review, give my little initial thoughts and my overall thoughts on episode 1 and 2 of Ninjago season 14, The Island. So yesterday I saw the new episodes in English and in HD and I didn't think they were that bad. Like honestly, the, the season, it feels a little bit low key. It doesn't feel like the story is kind of moving forward fast enough, but then again, you know, it is just the first two episodes. I think they're just going to have four episodes this season, or I think they're going to have more. I don't really know because I haven't been inside of the Ninjago world yet because I'm still trying to get out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe right now. And I'm trying to get back into DC and, and doing all this different type of stuff. So I haven't been inside of the Ninjago world long enough to to figure out if there are going to be more episodes after the next two episodes but i do think that the first two episodes weren't that bad i don't see the hate that a lot of people are having for it but if you guys have seen the first two episodes comment down below you guys can comment down spoilers of the first two episodes like the last two episodes or the last episodes that came out if you have seen them but in my opinion i didn't think that they were half bad i like the story i like what they're going for with this villains trying to protect their little amulet that kind of mimics the chima amulet as well and then we also have like these different totem poles that come to life by the lightning and they can absorb powers and abilities or i think they can only just absorb lightning so i think that's why jay is so important so we got a lot of story elements inside of these episodes but I just thought that they were fun and entertaining, and it was just great to see Ninjago again. Like, then again, this is coming from someone that's been in the Marvel Cinematic Universe world for nine weeks, okay? And someone who is inside of the DCAU and inside of the DC Universe as we speak. But, man, it feels so good to get another Ninjago season. And I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I teared up when I heard Cole's voice for the first time. I don't know why, I just teared up when I heard Cole's voice. But, like I said, the episodes were okay, the episodes were fine, the action is still very dynamic, I still love the animation style, even though it is not superior to pre-Secrets of the Forbidden Spinjitsu, I still really enjoy it. Like I said, the action is very dynamic, the story elements are kind of trying to come together here so like inside of the episodes the ninjas kind of get split up and it's just lloyd by himself with twitchy so i think that you know we're gonna ditch twitchy in, in a while but i think lloyd is gonna go like a like a lone ranger type of ninja and he's gonna be scouring the island looking for his his friends and his family so i think that's what they're going for with the season and i just can't wait to see how it all unfolds i mean i'm i'm for sure not ready to be disappointed but from what I saw, I thought that it was just perfectly fine. It wasn't nothing spectacular. It wasn't nothing terrible. I just thought that it's fine. It's okay. On to the next episode. All right, guys, that was it for the first two episodes discussion. And please know that everything that I did say in this video is just my very own opinion. And you're free to comment down below. What did you think of the first two episodes in Ninjago Season 14? Also, please know that I do have a Twitter. You guys can check that out right now. And also, if you are a big fan of Ninjago, which you probably are, that's why you're watching this video. Click that playlist up above for everything Ninjago related that I have on my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Peace.